There is this particular chicken called the naked neck chicken which I found very very interesting while I was doing my research and I had to make this video. There's no way I could not make this video because guys this might be the chicken that may be well suited if you want to keep local chickens and we are going to see why you should keep this chicken especially for meat and why also you should keep for eggs because there is two variations and that's going to depend on what you're going to do and on this video I'm going to make that clear and I hope that this video will help you with that so if you're not familiar with naked neck this is a chicken that has no any kind of you know it has no feathers on the neck and I think most of you guys know this chicken so I'm going to review this scientific report that was done in Pakistan and it was a comparative you know analysis between the productive performance of the indigenous naked neck chicken versus the naked neck crossed chicken and both of those were layers so we are going to see why I'm saying about eggs and both meat and what is my recommendation as an animal scientist also as a paravet so you know that you know chicken are used to produce eggs and meat and you should know that most of these indigenous chicken do not usually get to higher weights much more faster compared to the broilers and do not produce more eggs compared to the layers but their products are usually most preferred because they are natural and most consumers can pay higher prices for products from indigenous or local chickens so we are going to see how this experiment was done so that you can have a clear view of what is happening and also you can see the data behind my decision to make this video so they collected the birds and they collected 72 mature birds and you know they had to divide these birds they had the naked neck now and then they had naked necked crossed with the white logan hole and we had I know that the white logan is best suited for eggs but now that was crossed by the naked neck so we have the pure and now the crossbreed and now this group took those chickens were compared against one another and they were maintained at during the experiment for 20 weeks so during this period there was enough data so that they can be able to make the decision why each of each case was best and during the experiment they had the same temperature humidity ventilation floor space and lighting and one thing we should note that we are going to come back later so so that you can see is that this chicken were given the layers mash at libitum. They were given to the, the layers mash to eat with, without any restriction. So, and during the experiment, there were several data that was being collected. There was the initial weight, the final weight, the final body weight, the feed consumption per bird per week, egg production, hen, you know, for the hen housed, and then the hen daily basis of egg production and then we collected the egg weight the egg shell thickness and mortality but one thing that that's very interesting that what wants to look is is the egg production and the body weight gain and remember they were given the layer smash and i want to and i want you to see something very very interesting here so we are going to grow this go through this table yeah, because most of the videos, I just want to provide you with you guys data so that you can see why I'm making this decision. So, the weight for the birds during the start of the experiment was had a mean of one kilo, one point two kilograms. Yeah, one point two kilograms. And by the end of the experiment, we are we are going to see how much weight was gained. Now against the naked neck, and now and then naked necked, crossed bird. Yeah, so for this one, you should see that. Let's start from the bottom of the table. You can see that the neck and neck is the first one, and then N and C is the neck and neck crossed. You can see that the neck and neck, which was pure breed, had a higher feed intake, so it was eating more. And also for the egg, yeah, now that may be due because the chicken is local. Ah, it had pure breed, so it was eating more compared now to the crossed breed, which maybe when they were doing breeding, now they had to to breed against that rate of eating more. So, 
maybe that may be have led to that trait of eating less feeds in the crossed breed being less you know less against the pure breed and then now we can see the egg mass how how much you know how much heavier was the eggs in terms of for that week and we can see for the neck and neck it is less compared to the neck and neck crossed because you said that this neck and neck cross was crossed against the white log and hole and that is the chicken which is usually best for egg production so that improved this chicken they can make pure breed mostly for egg production and remember they were given layers feeds and then you can see the egg weight the pure the pure breed did not produce eggs which were much heavier and also it produced less eggs as you can see here number of egg number in that week on, on average and then you're going to see the production the production for for the pure breed of neck and neck is 39 percent and then for the cross is 51 percent and then you're going to see the egg production per house 45 percent 66 percent for the crossed breed now we want to see the very something very very interesting remember they were given the pure uh, they were given the layers mash and something i find very very interesting is that the pure breed increased weight much more faster or much more higher weight compared to the crossed breed and remember they were given the the layers mash what if now this pure breed were given butter feeds because butter feeds you know that they contain more proteins so that would have led to a higher body weight gain if the this pure breed were given the broilers feeds so i think if you're a farmer out there, maybe you want to do this for meat production, I think you should try this out and see how you can make it successful at your farm. Because the data that we are seeing here is that if this pure bleed can be given broader feed, maybe it can increase weight because if, if, it, if it increased weight with layers chicken feeds, and we know that these layers chicken feeds do not have enough amount of proteins to facilitate faster growth, but it did but it was heavier compared to the rest and also in terms of egg the pure bread was not best for eggs so yeah so that may be also why i'm saying that this is not the pure bread is not best for egg production but the cross is best for egg production yeah and the difference between the final weight between the two it was about 200 grams which is very very much you know it's, it's higher way higher compared to that one and also let's go yeah so so i think as you're making decision as a farmer you should check on that and also you should check let's check something here on this table yeah let's check something here on the discussion about mortality also the egg thickness you should see that the neck and neck which is pure breed the shell of that egg was more thick compared to the cross breed and that may be due to the genetics but we have said that this neck, this pure breed is best suited for maybe meat production, as the data as the data is showing us. Also, in terms of mortality, how much of these birds died during the experiment? It was shown that the pure breed died less often compared to the cross breed. Also, that may be also best. Now, 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 if we compare now the broiler with the, this neck and neck, it is less. It is less of a risk to keep the neck and neck you know for meat production because the risk of dying is less as we can see of, uh, on this cross breed here this is because now the neck and neck is has adapted to the local environment and is usually best and it will adjust as the environment change so my own takeaway home message is that if you're a farm out there and you want to keep this neck and neck chicken, I suggest that you should get a pure breed. Ensure that once you ensure if you're going to keep this neck and neck, ensure you get a pure breed. Pure breed. Yeah, pure breed. F1 generation. Don't get F2. And and if you can get this from a hatchery, not from another farmer, from a hatchery, it will be best. But if you don't have a hatchery where you can get this, you know, the F1 generation, you can just buy a cock. 
cock from one farmer but I'm not advice this but maybe maybe if you don't have any other ways buy a cock that is neck and neck and you know maybe from this village and then buy another hen which is also neck and neck and you know far away from your village so that we come and you know and breed this chicken so that you can have the chicks but never buy two chickens that you're going to breed so that you can get chicks from the same farmer of the same area because chances are that those chickens are related and you don't want to have recessive chickens which you know may grow less, less compared to what we expect so if you're going to breed this ensure that you get your cock and hen from different farmers and the farmers should be far away from each other maybe maybe from you know almost 100 kilometers away so that to ensure that at least to reduce the risk of in breeding so my help so i hope that you have seen how this neck and neck can be beneficial to you and i hope that you're going to take charge of your farm and be successful and if you like these videos please subscribe to this channel like this video and let me know what you think about this i would like to hear and i'll be giving each farmer one farmer at least a chance to join my organic farming course tell me where you're watching from and if you've ever seen this neck and neck chicken at and what you think about this idea and as always on this channel we do review scientific research reports we don't just give information just like that we usually review scientific reports and then we make and then we come and review together with you and then we make the decision together and also we help you make the decision for you and which is data driven decision and i hope that to see you in more videos and click on this video here to learn how you can make your own layers and broilers feeds click on these two videos here